Good morning, guys. So the problem I've had is that when I FaceTime my parents uh, from Singapore to the UK, I often have a bad experience. Um, I've mentioned this in other videos. It's usually largely large down to bandwidth. But, for example, when my parents move around their large house, they often get disconnected and then have to reconnect and this sort of it's a terrible experience if they ever like decide to walk, walk from say the kitchen to the garden to show me their new plant or something like that so that's what i've been trying to fix and this video is all about my experiences about setting up wireless networks in the last couple of months um Usually I have been using Ubiquiti uh, Unify hardware and I would kind of recommend it. I have at home here, I have like a UAP AC Pro and it's been pretty good uh, except I don't like the Unify uh, controller ha uh, software. It's kind of weird. Uh, the, also the, the app on the phone is like, there's been many issues where, for example, the firmware just didn't seem to update. For like six months at a time even though I knew there was something to replace it um, but otherwise I would say Ubiquiti Unify stuff is probably the best and easiest to use so Unify says that they have this unified fast roaming and when I chat to some networking experts they say that's that's balls um, if you just look at the Apple stuff what they say about wireless it's all to do with this signal strength and how it moves between the stations and that's all a client side decision it's nothing on the sort of access point side the ubiquity side so hence i was a little bit suspect of ubiquity and um and and since microtech hardware is actually like often i heard the same hardware as ubiquity different software and it's like half the price of Ubiquiti, um, and it claims to have similar features. I thought I would upgrade my parents' uh, Wi-Fi to using Microtik. So I bought three uh, access points, the AC lights, and I went about configuring them for my parents' place. And oh my gosh, it's been a tough couple of weeks, and <laughs> where shall I begin? So, what is Microtik? Good question. It's a very interesting company. I think it comes out of Latvia. And I must say, the hardware that they put together is sort of amazing for such a small company. Um, the software is also quite good in the sense that it's got like a, quite a nice console. Um, the web interface looks good. In practice, in practice it's not really. And it's also got a Windows uh, client. But for me, the, the more interesting thing is maybe the hardware, I think, is quite well designed with the PoE in and the PoE out and the fact that it's got a lot of wide ports. And, you know, given the choice, I'm always on wide. Trust me. When you get down to using Microtech, it's usually you buy it from a, a, a local seller and... Um, comes in a brown box and then it's pretty much up to you to configure and this is where it gets like pretty darn hairy I find. Microtech is like used by a lot of I think ne network enthusiasts because it's quite powerful bang for buck stuff and you can learn a lot from networking in general. To be honest I'm I mean I I I plunge myself into learning about network kind of reluctantly and this is probably why I, I suffered a lot because I was just thinking like, I don't want to know about this I don't want to know I don't want to burn but I ended up having to just read up about so much stuff and wasting so much time that I didn't really want to in order to <laughs> to use Microtech so um, yeah these are the guys I've had the, the HAP ones so first off when I when I bought the the three uh, uh, HAP AC lights here in Singapore, when they arrived, they were locked to the Singapore region. Um, and since Singapore is like, it's like everyone's on top of each other, and my parents like live on a farm, I thought that would be um, 
not appropriate for it, them to be to be stuck to the Singapore uh, locale setting. So I had to figure out a way of, um, of 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 changing it to UK, and that wasn't easy. I used basically you need to get a Windows only program. I don't even have Windows. Uh, run this program called Net Install, which I could not get working until I got a particular until I understood it was running off a different IP, and then I managed to sort of flash it to the the factory settings and be and so that I was able to, to to change the region. So that was like problem number one off the bat. The next problems I've had was um, uh, I guess this thing called Capsman. So. I guess I was looking for a similar experience to what uh, Ubiquiti does. Like, like Ubiquiti, you add your devices, you adopt your your devices with this uh, Unify controller, but uh, and then and then you sort of just coordinate everything from there. I mean, you don't even have to do anything. You just you just adopt and like you just you set the wireless name and password and you just walk away. Now with the with Microtik, you set up, you sort of choose one machine one of the devices to be to run Capsman as it's called so that's like the controller on one of the devices and then and then you you set up the other a couple of machine uh, devices to sort of like uh, you uh, to talk back to Capsman and this is where I found it really really confusing um, the short story was that the the sort of slay devices they need to be in uh, cap mode uh, um, and once you've got those in cap mode, then then they sort of usually just automatically just link up to the uh, to the caps man. Um, once it's in the sort of cap mode, and you can sort of reset it into cap mode, and it pretty much works that way. Um, and then for as for the caps man um, uh, configuration to begin with. Not easy, uh, but generally I model through it. I kind of, I mean, it's one of these. Th <laughs> so many hours are spent fiddling around that, like, I can't even tell you what I exactly did wrong. It's the annoying thing. I think, I think the problems I had were like my like wrong firewall settings and um, the the way I set up the bridge was maybe wrong or things like this. So let me quickly try run you through the problems I had with the Microtech or what I feel that was a bit weird about it. First off, the community. Now, I'm usually attracted that the, the fact that when Microtech seems to have a community, they run conferences, uh, they have IRC channels. But when I went to the IRC channels asking questions, um, similar with the forums, um, well, the forums, I didn't get a response. Um, the, I, the IRC channels was like, the most unfriendly IRC experience I've had in, in like many a year. Um, Interrelay chat is a way of just answering questions and stuff like that. Um, and I just found it very caustic and, you know, people were calling me an idiot because I was asking like simple questions about like how to make the um, Microtik just, just uh, use the IP on the network so I don't have to configure it with a static IP. People were calling me an idiot. What I was looking for was was cap mode, but you know those sort of experiences were really like like why am I? Do what an awful community, and I still have problems with it. Like, um, and I feel I feel like the big problem here is that is that Microtech have this sort of program in place where they they certify people. <laughs> You see a pattern with the Debian community, uh, and um, what, once once people are certified, I guess they they can charge a certain you know daily rate for their services, and I think it's in their interest not to have a sharing, uh, open community like I personally expected. So like if I ask a question, you know, someone be like, I charge fifty dollars an hour, I can help you. It's like has this sort of like open sort of vibe to it but it really really isn't open the i guess the hardware is obviously something proprietary m m matched together um but the software i believe runs linux but it's totally proprietary it's, it's closed and a lot of people speculate that they probably violate some license and this is why they can't um uh, 
have it open at all or something like that. I mean, do, you know, do rumors, blah, 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 blah. but it would, I, the software is problematic and it really, I think, um, would be better if it was open. I don't know. Winbox is the only tool that you, you can use so that you can see, so like, say, say you, um, set up a, a whole bunch of micro ticks on your network in caps mode. You can't actually, uh, or, or you just, or you just plug a lot of them in. You can't actually get at them unless you're using Winbox. Because Winbox sort of like does like a network scan, and 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 you're able to sort of connect to it on a, like a Mac ID level layer or something like that. That's the only way you can actually connect to your your devices sometimes when they don't have an IP. So yeah, Winbox on Windows is the only way to do it. You can get it running on Linux, but it's a total total pain. The support that I. Uh, I expect it from Migratic and maybe the person the way I source the hardware from. Well, the sort of first level support from the hardware manufacturer, I don't think it really exists. I, I don't know where you buy if if, if you had different experiences buying Migratic. Um, but the people who sell you things again, I, I, I think expecting to charge you per hour for for uh, for for their expertise, which I found a bit weird. And Microtech support, like every time I email them, um, you know, sometimes they reply in a couple of days, sometimes they take a couple of weeks. And furthermore, I, I even like attach to the email the supout.rif, like the, the whole uh, debug information from the Microtech router, and they're often um, unable to re reproduce my, my setup. Like, for example, I sent them a, a detailed... Um, Everything about my config, and there was a there was a firewall issue uh, due to that was preventing Catsman from, from working. But they were unable to identify it. I've, I've eventually figured it out myself. But like, you think that if you send like the support file to support support at Microtech, they might be able to help you? No, forget about it, guys. Not gonna happen. The web interface looks really good and promising, but the f there seems to be like these weird issues all the time. Like, for example, um, like, like when you when you when you like torch an interface, which is like to see what the interface is doing. Like, the Winbox version worked, but the web version didn't. Unless I clicked something, it was very very strange. There's just little inconsistencies that just make. Um, you completely lose faith in the web interface basically i'm i'm sure there's it's just it's like 99 percent there but when the one percent doesn't work you just like oh maybe i should rely on winbox to do it otherwise i might be stuck uh with a with a trivial little thing for an hour and by golly that's actually happened to me you really want a product like microtech from a company that controls the software and hardware to be like Apple. You, you you sort of plug it in and it has some sort of use, typical use cases where you just like click one button and it's all set up. I think that, I mean, they try and go that way, but for example, Quickset um, that you use there in the web interface or it's probably in the Winbox too. If you use Quickset, it's very strange. <laughs> Basically, the minute you basically apply a quick set setting, it's sort of like it's it's a template that sort of like trumps anything that's been there before. So it's um, at one of those things that you probably don't want to use for fear of it just nuking your settings or just doing something you didn't expect it to do. It yeah the. The, the whole quick set settings they they're not very well documented and when you do use them they can overwrite something that you've already done in mysterious and wonderful ways so quick set mm. the wiki um, as I have here you expect it to be good but actually it, it isn't you, you, it, you I ended up having to read the like the caps man one about 13 times before I got it it's just a little bit all over the place um, there does seem like when you Google around, you sometimes find like weird old things. I have, I don't know what is it due to. There are many pages that here that I don't think make any sense. Like I don't think you need a license key anymore with Microtix. But um, you know, if you search for Microtix licensing, you expect to see something about their their software uh, license. But the, I can't find anything. I, uh, their their wiki is just a little bit. Not as straightforward as I'd like, you know. 
they, they, they seem to sort of avoid the walkthrough and the and and any details or I don't know there's just something missing just just watch out for it or oh, <laughs> another thing that caught me out was that I don't have a gnat back at my parents place uh, we use a Andrews and Arnold and every device actually has an IP and straight on the internet I kind of hope that would help maybe with FaceTime and all the other stuff but if you are dumb enough like I was to just to just put the microtech devices on your on your network without a firewall well you're gonna find that um, the default p p password admin I mean the default username of admin and password nothing on SSH will lead to a very uh, a very quickly compromised device I literally left my device in for a couple of hours and and before I knew I had an email uh, directed from me by my ISP about how I'm dosing um, or attacking the PlayStation network. So the device was compromised. So watch out for that. Okay, so I bitched about Microtech. Am I happy with Microtech? Um, tentatively, yes. I think I've got a working setup. I'll link to my my parents' setup below. Um, this is things that annoy me like the ubiquity stuff i think does it really well like have a have a list of like the ips on the network and how much traffic they're doing the trouble is i think with my my parents network the upload channel is so small that if any device is doing some sort of like icloud sync the whole internet is just effed so and i still haven't really figured out how to um to keep a good accountancy of of of, of network usage in my in my household um, but otherwise, I do I do like Microtech hardware because I like the fact that it's got like four or five ports, and um, it does seem even though it's not open as I mentioned, it does seem a little bit more open than Ubiquiti, and um, and uh, you know I'm rooting for these these plucky Latvian guys, but I still hope that they can take my criticism board and get better over time and become uh, I don't know a more more open and, and, the, and the community can become a bit more friendly I mean I don't know what the solution is but um, exactly but uh, I'm gonna st tentatively stick with Microtech and uh, I have learned a, 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 a lot more stuff that I to be honest didn't want to know but I, I now know and I think that's a good thing but um, for you guys, if you don't have as much time as I do, which is uh, not that great, I don't have much time, then you probably want to stick with Ubiquiti, uh, unfortunately, and uh, pay twice the price for the hardware, and and get decent support. Um, uh, you know, even the online chat was not was surprisingly good. I thought with Ubiquiti. Um, but a lot of a lot of the details are are hidden away from you, and and um, I met somebody who was saying that like they did prefer Microsoft because when they had they had a like a, a weird esoteric problem, they were able to solve it. But like dropping to the command line ubiquity is just a nightmare. So I hope this video was useful to you guys. Um, I have so many hours of actually footage of me messing around with Microsoft. I don't know how I'm going to put this in the video. Um, but um, do have a look if you're a Microtech guy have a look at my config um, <laughs> and criticize it I still have a lot to learn reluctantly and um, and I guess there isn't really much choice for the, the networking world actually is it I mean I, I feel open WRT is, is kind of dead and the ubiquity is just really really opaque and Microtech which is just all over the place there you have it Thanks guys for watching, please like the video, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for sharing the pain with me. If you know better, please let me know. Bye.